So this is a viewer question, climate change. So I hope you like the video. If you do, please do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So don't you want to know, I mean, are we moving in the right direction? Is somebody doing something about this? I guess it's on everybody's mind and nobody thinks to mention it in a forum like this, perhaps. But um, we, subscriber Linda Joe, thank you, Linda Joe. Good question. Uh, says that, that each more uh, each year or just brings our attention to she didn't say this. But after I looked into what she was asking about, this is what I found out that each year more than 36 million tons of CO2 are released into the Earth's uh, atmosphere. And it's the main source of greenhouse gas uh, that's growing this climate change situations. And most is from fossil fuels and then other types of uh, human uh, polluting uh, activities. The, the last report of uh, the World Meteor Meteorological Organization, it's the WMO, much easier, uh, pointed out that in 2018, atmospheric CO2 2 broke all records in human history. And uh, the top 10 polluters, oh, look at this. And so, um, for the most part, just a few countries. But the top 10, number one is China with more than 10,065 million tons. Uh, then number two is the United States, 54,016 million tons. And then number three is India with 2,254 million tons. Amazing. So we're the top three. We're right in the middle of the top. We're almost, we're almost number one. And then uh, number four is Russia, five is Japan, six is Germany, seven is Iran, eight is South Korea, huh? nine is South Arabia, and 10 is Indonesia. I would have thought South Korea was more, but then I guess there's not much population perhaps. I don't know. But uh, it looks like it looks like this. So climate polluters um, to battle that, we've got this organization called practicalaction.org and uh, it's hosting uh, the UN Climate Change Conference uh, of the Parties, the COP, and this is what Linda Joe was asking about. The world's most important summit uh, on climate change since the 2015 uh, Paris Agreement. That's what, you know, the important people say. And then, of course, the uh, as the climate change emer emergency intensifies, it's just children and young people that face the worst of, worst of it, you know. Hopefully, they'll develop uh, ingenious solutions to uh, real world, wow, real world extinction. And uh, the, the event that Linda Joe mentioned will uh, actually be held between November 1st and November 12th at the Scottish Event Center, the SEC. And another Sooner event, which is what I think you meant, Linda, uh, will be the week before that called the Bonfire Night Halloween. And that's on Halloween. And so Linda Joe wants to know if the biggest polluters, China and the United States, will make some real changes. Okay, so these cards are, are the, just the latest thing, I believe. So this is by the artist uh, is Ciolo, Ciolo Thompson, Ciolo Thompson. And it's, this is called the Line Strider Tarot, the Line Strider Tarot. It comes in a great box, and it's, it's got some beautiful imagery on the outside of the box and a nice little introduction back here. Uh, I like this as Body, Mind, and Spirit Tarot. So very interesting. But uh, the box itself is one of the cool uh, magnetic snaps. It's beautiful. It's got a nice glossy finish. It really feels uh, like a, a precious uh, stationery would come in here. The book is amazing quality. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but like each one of these pages is just, there's really good quality. And the book is full color. And it's interesting here because it talks just a little bit about Solio Thompson. And I'll just tell you very quickly that she's a self-taught visual artist and she lives in the Seattle, Washington area. And um, so this is her first uh, deck. So the first published deck anyway. And then in, over here she's talking about this was a journey for her. And uh, the Line Strider deck uh, has got a lot of animal uh, imagery. And then it brings in some uh, tarot images from her childhood. Now she grew up uh, where? She grew up in, she was born in uh, Western Samoa. And then uh, she also uh, lived in Bolivia. And so uh, she has an amazing uh, childhood and, um, and brought a lot of attention to the cards. 
So there we go. The book is fantastic. The cards themselves are also pretty amazing. But, I mean, they're a gentle spirit. They're a good quality of card. You know, they're stiff. They're uh, slicky, but they don't cause a problem. They shuffle uh, really well. And um, so, you know, they're just great. And then they're very easy to interpret. And the reason is that uh, each card really tells you right there what's on the card. Okay, so you don't have to just rely on the imagery, but if you really look at what's drawn on there, it's pretty amazing. I mean, and then you start to wonder why did she uh, allow, uh, allot this animal for this particular uh, divination. So the beautiful cards, good suggestions in the book, how to um, you know use them, and I just lay them out like this so you have a chance to look at uh, more than just the few cards that uh, you know reader pulls out when they're we're doing our shtick, and then. Um, you know, maybe um, you might decide uh, you like the cards. If you don't get to see a lot of cards, I know when I was just watching um, this stuff on uh, YouTube, I wanted to see more cards than I was seeing. So there we go. Okay, so we'll get right to the question. Right to Linda Joe's question. Will the biggest polluters, which happen to be China and the United States, I mean, there's others, but we're really the top two, uh, come to some sort of meaningful agreement for true, real change at this uh, Climate Accord meeting that's going to happen uh, just the beginning of November, right after Halloween. So will there be some meaningful change at this Climate Accord meeting? Wow, these cards really work so well. And I like it that this, it's this gentle spirit in these cards instead of something really uh, horrifying. Okay, so we'll take six uh, to begin with. So one, two, three, aha, uh -huh. four, Five and six, perfect. These I can't tell you how nicely these cards uh, work. Um, I'm really amazed by that, and I've got a lot of decks. I haven't really had this nice of an experience with cards. They're what you would consider uh, uh, positive cards that they, they just are. They feel very comfortable using them. Now the signifier card of this deck is the devil. Wow. Well, I'm glad I prefaced that with all that nice talk. So um, and you know the devil is just getting all caught up in ill intention. All right. And uh, that's exactly what we've done with our climate change. We've just uh, taken and taken and used and abused and uh, and and waited until it was too long to make a difference. And we so you look at this, uh, these image here. So you've got this fellow here just crying, leaning over this woman over here, just in agony and pain and heartache. And but they're bound together. OK. And uh, then you just have the, the devastation of this uh, dry skull. So, I mean, this card couldn't better represent climate change, I don't think. So that's the signifier card. Now, the challenge to that is the page of pentacles. You know, pentacles are worth. This would be like the page of a uh, uh, coin. And uh, the page is uh, being the weakest of the court cards. He's the one that, or this page, the page is the one that's bringing a message to court. It's saying, listen, I found this uh, worth here. Or someone told me to bring this idea, this value to you, and you decide what you're going to do with it. So the challenge to this, uh, uh, you know, deal with the devil over here is that the offer is weak. All right. And you can see that. So she's looking down, and he's like a little imp down here saying, well, I got something in my hand. It's a little uh, pentacle. And she's looking down saying, you're weak. So that's the challenge. The, the base of this reading, then, is the seven of pentacles. And the seven of pentacles is a kind of illusion and delusion. And this reminds me of one of those birds that decorates its nets, nest with all kinds of interesting little baubles uh, to attract a mate. So the seven of pentacles is, is that... Um, in this regard, so we're talking about climate change, and will the biggest polluters uh, do their part? Illusion and delusion. Will they make it seem as if they're doing their part when they're not? Or maybe that's what's been going on. In the past of this reading is the Five of Wands. And, you know, the Five of Wands is just kind of pointless uh, arguing and bickering with each other. And you can see these two dogs are wolves. They look more like dogs to me. Uh, you know, just n n snarling at each other. And uh, so that's what the Five of Wands is. It's not necessarily death. You know, it's like annoyance. So that's what the past has been. Oh, okay, but we're out of that. We're into the real problem right now. In the sky of this reading, let me move all this down just a tiny little bit to get that other card up at the top. In the sky of this reading is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is really just um, uh, like an abuse of power. And, of course, what we've done is we've abused our beautiful environment. And, um, and look how sorry this person is for that abuse. So is this the environment that's just broken and uh, look at this very faint little image right here of uh, perhaps that devil on your shoulder that just makes you do the worst thing. And uh, so, yeah, so in the sky of this is this Five of Swords, the abuse uh, that's been going on and the likely outcome in this first part of this. So if we're saying, will the major uh, polluters do something? This isn't looking very good. 
uh, is the three of wands. Well, long term planning. I mean, that's what we're, we're asking for. We're asking for long term planning. So it looks like it was just important enough for this uh, these cards to want to tell that story before they said, well, yeah, there's going to be some long term planning. And then what's the last four cards of this full Celtic cross? Um, the self of that question um, is there some way we can know if that long term planning is going to be effective? I think that's what we have, what do we have to go to. So the self of that question is the Knight of Cups. You know, the Knight is the uh, member of that royal suite that's going to fight for what he's given, and Cups are, are passion. You know, so this certainly uh, is a passionate issue now, and it's just going to become more so and more so and more so as the future goes forth. And then if you look really carefully at this image, you can see there's a horse right here. And there's a knight. Ignore this red. There's a knight sitting on the back of the horse. But then overlaying the whole thing is this red uh, fish, uh, you know. So what would better demonstrate you know, a, a symptom of climate change than this horse, this uh, knight charging in uh, as a knight of cups, uh, compassion uh, with this red, uh, probably dying fish. Uh, man, that's pretty significant. So that's the self of that question. The environment that that's in, okay, is the five of cups. And the five of cups is, you know, kind of leaving something behind, you know, having spilled something and then you've, you've still got something left. So this owl is looking down and, it, and usually they're the ones that rob a nest, but I'm thinking this owl is looking down at its own nest and someone has robbed it, him or her rather of three uh, of those eggs. They've broken in, they've had uh, their way and, and there's only two left. So it's just sad. This is in the environment of having lost so much, but there's still something left. Okay. The hopes and the fears of all of this is the seven of wands uh, hopes and the fears and the seven of wands is deceit and thievery and um, and look at this uh, uh, card here if you look very I mean you really have to pull the images out of here this art is, is amazing but there's what looks like a, a wolf or a vicious canine animal here there's a, a, a some sort of a, a duck or a, a stocky stocked bird and then look at this goat up on the top just also the devil so seven of wands um, yeah is um, deceit so is that the best we can hope for? And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is this three of swords and the three of swords is a broken heart. So, you know, doesn't look great. And uh, it's represented here. Um, this bird looks like it's been stabbed and this bird is looking a little defiant about that. So, well, that's a shame. So Linda Joe, that's the message we got. Man, this card couldn't have been more uh, on point. So the the um, signifier card was uh, the devil, and that's what we've been doing. We've been uh, dancing with the devil, those two people bound together and then in agony. Uh, but the uh, challenge to that was this page of pentacles, which is a page is you know bringing some sort of a uh, some sort of message of value to court. To see what can we do, and so that's like this meeting that we're having. The base of this reading then is the seven of pentacles, illusion and delusion, and um, that's no good no matter how you look at it as what's been going on or what's going to go on. So and that's the base of the whole thing. And then the past of that reading is this. Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands are just an endless uh, bickering and uh, useless, um, uh, pointless uh, arguing. Uh, the sky of the reading was the Five of Swords, really abuse, and uh, that's exactly what you got there. And then the um, likely outcome of that was that it needs some long-term planning, these Three of Wands, long-term planning. But then we said, well, what's the self of that? So it looks like the, the two worst polluters are going to cooperate, and we get as the self of that question, this Knight of Cups, and if you look so closely, there's a knight on a steed, but it's got a red fish overlaying the whole thing. I mean, that's climate change. So that's the uh, self of that question. And then the um, environment that that's in is that this owl, this mother owl has had three of her eggs violated. She's only got two left and she's looking pretty sorrowful about the thing. And an owl is pretty strong. So mother nature is saying, look what you've done. Okay. But there's something still to work with. And the hopes of the fear, sadly, is just the seven of wands. And the seven of wands is just more deceit and deception and uh, ill will. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing huh, is uh, with this three of swords and it, it's a broken heart. So, what will it take? Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.